Hello everyone and welcome back to Surviving Mars. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. We are still doing the 1000% difficulty challenge. And if you are watching my videos for a while, please consider to give this video a like. And if you watch more than three of already, then you should consider subscribing. It uh, helps me out a lot. It is an awesome way to show me that uh, you want, want more of this stuff. Okay, now that's out of the way. Last time we made a really big progress, as you can see here. We constructed this dome, we put down some uh, metals extractor and yeah, basically that's it. And now I'm planning to build some research here. And also I am toying the idea to research the Moho mine and start building it, because that would secure uh, most of our resources, basically. So let's, uh, let's get to it, let's check on the research. Yeah, we want uh, meteor defense systems and, uh, and rovers. Yeah, we want a lot of things. We want a lot of things. We'll see how, how it will go. So, and we have an electrostatic dust storm and a meteor storm incoming. So I think the first order of business is to surviving these two. And what about for metals production? It's okay, however, we have no metals here. And that is a big problem. Because we need metal there, when, because when the electrostatic dust storm hits us, we need metal for repairs. We have 22 metal here, that's fine. We have some water, and I think I will separate the grids once we, the dust storm is starting. So this can supply this dome. And, and I don't want to lose anything, any water or oxygen here. We have two tanks full of oxygen, so that would be enough. I don't know if we have the auto collection on him. Yes, we do, but of course there was the hologram, but we are bringing it here. No, that's that won't be the case, we are bringing it here. Because we don't have enough metal there. And that is a problem. And when the dust storm finally hits us, uh, I can moving back and forth uh, from the valves. Ooh, we finished this one. Now, and we are reaching to that water supply, so let's put the next rock formation this way, leaving a little gap. Of course, that means maybe the dust that we can move in, but we can also reach that water if we need to. I, I hope we don't have to reach that. And it seems uh, we just can't uh, completely fool our water reserves between two dust storms and and it will be an electrostatic dust storm. Okay, fun.
let's see if there's any metal close by yes we have a lot of metal there so let's collect some more okay the dust storm and the meteor storm are here and the meteor storm is quite close to us and i don't know if we can uh, build that up where are you you are in the tunnel so you will move back oh and we have a leak right there so we are isolating it Okay, six will be enough, and bring some food as well, because currently the shuttles are not working, at least we have the meteor defense system now here. And you can unload everything there. Because the meteor storm is right next to us here. Oh, and we already built that. Okay. That's great. Okay. They fixed the leak. So we can open these up. And wish me luck. So we survived both the meteor storm and the electrostatic dust storm and we're fine or maybe we not what's with these oh those are the effects of the lightning strikes okay food fight two of the largest fast food chains have feared a simultaneous request to serve the colonists would you like a, a diet soda with your triple burger for free your only obligation is to make the colonists eat and supposedly they enjoy the brand's meals. No, Mars will be always bio and organic. The more comfort is a better choice. Especially that uh, we have inflation, so Maybe we can reset the food import prices, but it will be increasing again. And what's the point? By the way, I'm doing some planetary missions just to burn some fuel and get some resources and it seems uh, the cold wave is draining all the power but we have enough reserves to last yeah these are not working because one solar panel is not enough and i don't want to build more Oh, maybe these guys are responsible for the miners. Let's check. Where's something electrical? Over production, total demand. No, we have some miners on, on our own. A cold day just ended and we are still good. We are making slow progress and now I remember that we should uh, call down uh, meteor storms so we can quicken the research and I don't think I mentioned it but we have our first research lab and our very first scientists. So I hope I can speed up things. Also uh, machine parts are gathering in a good pace. And basically, we are making progress. Currently, it's not too interesting. But 
or a change i like that i like that i that i can just chill moving rovers around and, and not worry about what will happen of course i think this will change once we start the mystery but i think uh, that may be tied to a certain number of colonists and I don't know why I just have this number like 150 or 160 colonists and then the mystery will start. Oh! We have that many metal. That's great. Okay, here's the mystery. All stations, red alert. Mission control, an enormous alien object has just materialized near our colony's perimeter. This thing is unbelievable. You have to see it yourself. Our scanners cannot penetrate the outer shell of the megastructure. It didn't attempt to communicate either. It just floats there in the thin Martian air. Like a menacing presence of an unknown threat, an enormous alien megastructure has appeared above, above the colony. Maintain vigilance and inform me immediately if the situation changes. Whoa! Indeed, it's above the colony. I'm so glad I envisioned the, what you call it, whole mine here, or maybe here. Yeah, I should expand another dome there, so we will build up here, but that's beside the point. But now that we have decided that, Okay, this is a little bit unnerving. Anomaly found. Oh yeah, we are ha we have an ongoing meteor storm, and we are finding some anomalies. Which we can, uh, which not can be will use to research the Mohol mine. And I think our power. Meteor shower incoming. Oh, and we have a natural one. And look guys, we have a lot of research points now. This is great, great stuff. Oh, by the way, we researched the rover printing, so why don't we print another uh, explorer and further increase our research capabilities? Since we are here, we can collect those metals. And yeah, it seems we have a lot of metals, but uh, if we can have more for free, then why not? Hmm, Metatron. Metatrons are used in music. It has a rhythm, but I hope that rhythm uh, is not calm down. We are good. We need only four soul. 
And I think what we also need is another rover. Another transport. Oh, and the renegades are doing stuff, so it's time for some purging. Oh yeah. Before they start to blow up something. And since I think we have the renegades under control here. So maybe, just maybe, do this. Maybe it will last. Your storm, but I, I doubt we will get any. I don't like that. Uh, any research anomalies from that. And we still have some. Uh, we have a food shortage. Of course we have. We have the gates there. And now I don't feel the need to save scum the meteor storms because we have a lot of lasers here. Okay, that's a good place to fall. Now, we just finished the Project Moho Mine research. And we will start building it. At least we will see how much it costs. Okay. It's good. Uh, the 300 machine parts will take, off, uh, take a while. But other than that, I think we are good. has died don't worry about that those are just renegades they're dying here in our colony uh, renegades are a dying breed great and it's still under the protection of that laser I don't think we will build this up a colonist uh, has died. this episode, but uh, it will be close. Like half-ish way. I want these uh, machine parts to deplete and then I will stop the construction. And we have a great amount of food here, so... That's a bonus. Now the only thing uh, really I'm worried about is that Metatron. Because if this part of the colony is destroyed, well, these two factories would hurt us. We have a food shortage.
That means I don't have to build another farm here. So what could we build? Maybe another machine park factory. It would consume a lot of metal. So much that we cannot produce. However, that would increase the completion of this. So I think another machine park factory is worth it. Research complete. So we can increase for five. Why not? Increase our research rate and the ice also put heavy workload on them. We are upgrading everything and in fact this is the time that we build another fusion reactor. Rebuilding is destroyed. Okay. Of course, clearing will rec require drones. Well, maybe, maybe once. Once we have an atmosphere and don't have this over the colony. This is not a good spot for the meteor store. This should be protected. Meteor incoming. How long? Twenty one. At least it's not uh, too long. Meteor incoming. Meteor incoming. Okay, I don't have anything to answer for that, but we have a food shortage. Meteor incoming. Still okay. Wow. Our tanks are full. Meteor incoming. And soon we'll have liquid water on the. Well, this is another way to have liquid water on the surface of Mars. Meteor incoming. It's not my preferred way. We have a lot of metal there, so a colonist has died. Meteor incoming. Meteor incoming. Meteor incoming. Okay, we could rebuild that. Okay, this meteor storm uh, meteor incoming. became a little bit more painful than I wanted, but at least we have uh, the lasers so we can defend it ourselves.
Okay, now we are out of machine parts there. So how about stopping this? Great dust storm approaching. Great. As it says, it's a great event. The voice of the method. I need to talk to you, Commander. I think that something strange is going on with me. It's the monolith. I feel its alien thoughts inside of my head. It speaks to me. I just don't understand why, but it has chosen me to be its speaker. At first, I uh, thought I was going crazy, but medics tell me that nothing is wrong with me. Since the moment it appeared above us, I have been dreaming dreams that aren't mine. I see things that I cannot understand, and I feel that some strange thing is forming inside my mind, and it urges me to tell it to the world. I'm afraid, but I'm also excited, because I feel that this will be important. It sounds crazy, but I want to believe. Okay, so far so good. We don't have enough people. We have a food shortage. No, we have electronics part shortage. So let's move some children and Research some old complete. people. Here and build a house. Oh, now we can draw achieved. Stick with the motor on Mars. A colonist has died. Yep. Okay, now we need more uh, tech research. I think we want uh, to start working with water. And in general, and vegetation. And maybe some uh, social stuff. Like the trade. Uh, which negates the working outside penalty. Okay, this is built. Okay, let's try to survive the great dust storm. And then I think I will call it an episode. Okay, we are in the middle of a dust storm, but we have a challenge from the Metatron. The times of challenge are upon us. We are chosen to represent all humans and face the trials of the monolith. If we prove worthy, we will be rewarded. But if we fail... The Metatron, as the monolith desires to be called, was created to visit and test intelligent species all over the galaxy. It will put us through trials and will make us realize whether we are worthy to take our place among the star-faring species. The stars are cold and bitter and many unknown opportunities and danger await us there. We must prove that we can understand that we can survive and thrive in any environment and situation. Metatron doesn't care if we want to be tested. It has simply come to announce the beginning of the trial so we can prepare. I'm afraid, Commander, but I will give anything to make through this. 
it will be put through a series of trials, but other one will create waves of anomalies which you will test your ingenuity and resolve, adapt and survive. Offerings are anomalies uh, with limited duration, but analyze their behavior you for efforts. We have faced harder challenges, haven't we uh, proven worthy enough? Okay guys, and I think this is the point uh, where I should stop and save the game. And we will do the challenges in the next, uh, in the next episode. I hope to see you there, uh, thank you for watching and, and bye.